Now let's get some rapid fire response from our panel on these stories. Tomorrow, the House Republicans will unveil their pledge to America. Uh, but we got an advanced copy. And Bob Woodward's new book, Obama's Wars, says President Obama and his White House are at odds over the war in Afghanistan. With us tonight, nationally syndicated radio talk show host Bill Press and also John Fury, Republican strategist. Gentlemen, good to have you with us tonight. Let's talk first about this uh, pledge. You see, in the 90s, you guys, uh, John, you had the contract with America. Now, is this a cheaper cut now that you've reduced it to a pledge, or is this more serious? i got to give you a hard time about that. All right, well, now, <laughs> here's the pledge, uh, the preamble. Regarding the policies of the current government, the governed do not consent, an arrogant and out-of-touch government of self-appointed elites makes decisions, issues mandates, and enacts laws without accepting or requesting the input of the many. Uh, and of course, what they want to do is they want to cut taxes, cut taxes, repeal the health care bill, the cat's out of the bag. John, is this a good strategy for the midterm? What do you think? I think it is, Ed. I think uh, I was there in 1994. I think it was very helpful when Republicans put out a game plan of what they were going to do. It's good for two reasons. A, it tells the voters that you have a positive plan, and B, it gives you a game plan once you take over and gives you a chance to uh, organize yourselves and have goals to pass when you're there. And I think that the unique thing about this uh, pledge is that they, the Republicans actually spent some time listening to what the American people wanted with their American Speak Out uh, website, and they've got the input. So they, I think they feel very comfortable with where they're going with their agenda, and their agenda makes sense. People do want spending to be cut. They, want, they don't want their taxes to go up, sure. and they want us to take a serious look at this health care law. And what do you think, Bill? Hey, I just want to remind John that uh, Newt's famous contract with America, there were 10 planks in it. Not one of the 10 was ever adopted. So I just say, no, that, buyer, that's be, buyer beware. Buyer beware of anything Boehner puts out there. And look, at these guys had eight years. They didn't do any of this stuff. They didn't ban all federal funding for abortion. Why do you believe they're going to do it now? They didn't cut spending. They were the biggest spenders up to that time of any government that we ever had. So you know what? I think it's good for them to put something out, but it's well, totally meaningless because they'll never be in power and they'll never be able to carry any of those things Bill, out anyway. Bill, you're, you, what you said is wrong. It is uh, actually federal ban, uh, funding of abortion is illegal right now. And the fact of the matter is, is they balance the budget and they've reformed welfare. And they got a lot, they got most of their planks through in the contract with America. I think the Republicans will do very well no, 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 with this no, pledge hey, with hey, America. No. Hey, John, no, they didn't. Ed, the other thing I want to talk John, about. John, wait that, a minute. That, now, hold on. They, they balanced no. the budget. Was that with Iraq and Afghanistan <laughs> in the budget or not? Well, and also the, the Medicare that they the passed. Republicans in Congress <laughs> balanced the budget. And no, they had a lot of stuff not, off no, budget no, that no, we're paying no, for no, right no, now no, and having no, to call no. for. Go ahead, Bill. $1.3 trillion deficit, John. That's hardly balancing the budget. I want to talk about this charge of Obama being arrogant. I mean, it's Mitch McConnell and John Boehner who said up front, we are going to oppose anything President Obama is for. That's hardly listening to the people and trying to get some things done. And, Ed, quick story. When President Obama went up to the Hill to have lunch with the Republican caucus to talk about the stimulus, John Boehner had a news conference and said they were against it before Obama got in the car to go to the Congress. Talk you about know arrogance. Because they knew it wasn't going to work, and they were right, Bill. It doesn't work. No, it's it been didn't a work, John. Three million no. jobs, John. No, it, it, Three million American people, jobs. Ask the American people, I think it worked. It hasn't worked at all. John Ferry, would you admit that this pledge for America on its surface is exactly what the Republicans had for eight years. Where's the change? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's an updated version. I think they've, they've, they've one of the things I think one of the things they've done is said that you know, for three days you're going to have a chance to read every bill, and I think that's an important change. And I think the fact of the matter is that each time you have to update things, and they are going to cut spending in a way that's very, very meaningful to uh, the, the American taxpayers. Yeah. Hey, hey, John, come on, you don't even believe that. We're Pretty not good. going to go backwards, John. We're not going to go back to the Bush years. The American okay. people don't want to do it. All right, it. gentlemen, got to ask you about this book that's coming out. Bob Woodward has written Obama's Wars, and uh, I'm glad that there's debate inside the, the White House. I'm glad they're swearing at each other about policy. It seems to me like President Obama's trying to do the right thing, get us out of that damn thing. Uh, he says, quote, I can't let this war, uh, I can't let this be a war without end, and I can't lose the whole Democratic Party. What do you make of this, Bill Press? First of all, if I were President Obama, I would have paid Woodward to write this book from what I read about it so far. Look, this is a big deal. This was Bush's war. 
uh, Obama inherits it. They got to decide what to do. And the way he describes it, they, it worked. The system worked. The president brought everybody in, brought the generals in, brought everybody else in. They discussed all the various possibilities. The generals wouldn't give him an exit strategy. Obama says, I'm taking charge. I'll do a 30,000 temporary surge, but we're going to have a plan to get out of there. I mean, I got to tell you, I was impressed by that. He took charge. Good for him. Bill. Bill, I, th I think this bill, this book is very troubling. The fact of the matter is that the Pentagon and the, and the White House are not on the same page. The fact that the uh, president is worried mostly no, about politics no, and not about policy. He's no, worried about losing the whole no, Democratic Party. John. Why doesn't he? And he also does not say at all. Well, that was well, one of the things. John, hold John, hold John, they are. No, they sense, John, no John, sense of winning the war. Wait, he, wait, he, they he are about on this list. They are on this list. They are on this Hold it. Time out. We got to, well, hold it. We got to bring this point in. John, this is a key point. The Bushies always said that they listened to the generals on the ground. Despite right. what President Obama wants to do, he's listening to the generals who are operating this war. He gave him another 30,000 troops. How, exactly. can the, how can the conservatives turn on him for that? The, 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 the implication of this book is the Pentagon does not really think that the president wants to win this war. As a matter that of fact, is not he, true. He, he, that is true. That's what, one of the implications that, of the minute. book. Wait he, a minute. That he General, does not want to win hey, this John, war. Give me a chance he wants here. to just Look, John, have hey, a strategy. Whoa, slow down. Then slow that's down. a real big John. problem. John, let's get a fact on the table. Secretary right. Gates is with the president. General Petraeus is with the president. The Pentagon is with the president. The president says Bill, we're not going Bill. to be in Afghanistan forever. And by the way, may I remind you, Barack Obama is the commander in chief. Okay? He's the one I want to make up, the decisions. Gentlemen,